You're watching the 10 o'clock news. The 20th annual Persian Day Parade took place down Madison Avenue today. Organizers say they put on this parade every year to showcase the cultural side of Iran without politics or religion. Over the years, it's grown to about 100,000 people who participate in Fox 5's. Michelle Ross was there for this one. The annual Persian Day Parade in New York City is a day to celebrate the rich cultural history of the Persian people, the people of Iran without any connection to politics or religion. Everybody puts the government of Iran and the people of Iran in the same pot. We are saying that, okay, people are different than the government. The parade proudly takes place under both the American flag and the ancient Iranian flag, which displays a lion and sun in the middle. The current flag represents the Islamic Republic of Iran, the brutal Iranian regime. But down Madison Avenue, you will not see that flag flying here. What you will see, a group of proud people who want to educate those who may not understand Iranian heritage. I think it's important as a person born in America to kind of keep my parents and my grandparents' uh, culture alive here. We have amazing food. We have an amazing culture. We have a lot of dancing. And talking about the food, the smell of kebab kubideh fills the air as it cooks on the grill. The parade takes place near Nowruz, the Persian New Year. And even though this is in the political parade, this slogan is on many books. It reads, Mujahed and Zahi Azadi in Farsi, which means woman, life, freedom. The protest movement began in 2022, after the death of Iranian woman Massa Amini, who died at the hands of Iran's morality police for improperly wearing her hijab. The whole time I was, I was cheering up. They did such a beautiful job, I'm really, um, I hope we get some day. And with recent airstrikes between Israel and the Iranian government, the Iranian people hope for a better future. We feel very strongly against the war. We feel very strongly for the people of both countries to live in peace and in dignity. No one knows when that will be, but by keeping traditions alive through music, food, and countless other ways, they are optimistic for better days ahead. Reporting on Madison Avenue, Michelle Ross, Fox 5 News. All right, well, nice days are ahead, mostly. Luke Johnson's going to be back with a full forecast right after the short break.